This year, Hannah and Zeke will be doing third grade together. This is all of their curriculum. I'm going to walk you guys through everything that we're doing with them this year to go through third grade in their homeschool. start with all the essentials right here. These are the things that we must do every week and accomplish our goal for that week. And that's this is what we're actually doing that week. We check off the boxes as we accomplish each one. But there's bonus stuff down here. This is the fun stuff that we get to do that if we accomplish all this, we can fill in some of our extra time with some of this fun activities and bonus stuff that we get to do every week. I print off one of these sheets every week for the day at the top and we go work through it every single week. Everything in the essential block is what you see right here. We're gonna walk you through what each of these things are and show you what we're gonna be working on with Hannah and Zeke this week for third grade. We've been using Timber Doodles curriculum for a few years now and we've loved it. They were cool enough to send all this to us for us to use this year so we can review it with you guys and tell you how it works for us in third grade with, with Hannah and Zeke. Now we start off our school day with the Bible. Okay, so it's the first thing on our list here. And while I am reading the Bible, and we just use like a chapter a day, and we just work through a book, the kids are working on some of their art, like this stuff right here. These are books that they used last year, and they didn't really quite finish them. There's still plenty of drawing and things for them to be creative and flesh out a little bit more. And so they did a good job, but uh, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. So I'm going to give these books back to them. We then typically go on to handwriting. Now I'm actually going to modify a little bit about what we're going to do because the first section of this is print, which the kids are actually going to get plenty of that in their spelling. So we're going to, I'm going to have them skip ahead actually to where it starts learning of cursive, and then in the later chapters and lessons, they actually are writing full sentences in cursive. We're doing this, one, because it's in here, and I don't think they need more of this because they're gonna get that elsewhere, and because they've shown a really big interest in wanting to learn cursive. Let me show you guys what this looks like, where you are using a spelling you see. Again, this year, this is the instructor handbook. You do need that. This is a student workbook, part one. Uh, and we have two of them because one for Hannah one for Zeke. There's a lot of handwriting already involved with this as you can see a lot of copy work And so I'm going to use this as part of their like they're going to expect that they write this neatly And this will be part of their handwriting So they'll be kind of doubling up on handwriting while doing their spelling And the cool thing about this book is they're learning American history too while they learn that So it's kind of like they're learning three things all at once in terms of math, we are going to be using math, you see, again. It comes with these blocks, which is one of the reasons we love Timber Doodles because it is so hands-on, it is so kinesthetic, and so we've been already using these for the past few grades, and so rather than just kind of sitting down looking at numbers on paper, they actually use manipulatives and use this for their math throughout all the grades so we have this this kit once you buy the kit you have it it's good for all the grades in the future all you need to do is get the books and so this year the kids are starting their math you see gamma book which this one gets into multiplication we need to do about one lesson per week in here and it's broken up pretty easily uh, lesson 12 and you have a b c d e and f and then g is kind of like a fun thing if you want to do it and then it starts all over again and there is a test in the test booklet that each of the kids get that they do at the end of each unit in each section and uh, at the end of each lesson to just kind of make sure they're grasping the concepts and that they're ready to move on to the next lesson it also comes with this teacher manual, the instruction manual, which is basically like mostly an answer key. It does have some tips for the teacher on how to teach certain things. Most of the time I haven't had to use any of this because it comes with a DVD that explains everything very well. Each lesson is only a few minutes long and we found that that has been totally sufficient in, in helping our kids grasp the concepts they need for each lesson. 
Math is one of those subjects that kids either like love or hate. And fortunately so far with Matthew C, all of our kids have loved it and we haven't really pulled much teeth. In fact, it's one of the things they enjoy doing and they work through it pretty quickly, which has been awesome. The kids obviously need to learn a lot more than just math. And so they also have geography. And each Hannah and Zeke will have one of these books. This book is so fun. I mean, I learn a ton going through it. I don't know what that says about me, but I do learn going through this. And this this year, we just have to do like two or three, I think four pages uh, a week to get through this whole book on time. So not very heavy lifting, but the kids will enjoy learning about countries, all revolving around geography. One of the things that has taken the most amount of time for us in the past is actually grammar. And we've been using first language lessons because this is what Timberdoodle includes with their complete kit. And it is fun, it is effective, but it does take some time. Some of these things I can just let the kids go do on their own and then I'll come back and check their work. But this one, I, I need to hang out with them and do it, which isn't a big deal. As the teacher, I have a teacher's uh, guide. And it is entirely like say this, say that, and you know, there's no prep involved. It's just sitting down and actually doing it. Now in past levels of this, the kids have had their own notebook paper and it's just been one book for me, but now they have their own student workbooks, which I think will make this a little bit easier because the kids, I think they like it when they have like something that's theirs and they can keep track of all their work and they can see their progress and they don't have to write as many notes down as they did during the, the previous grades with this curriculum. So I think having this book is definitely gonna be worth the investment and the money for them in, in terms of just the excitement that they have for learning grammar and their language lessons. Now to accompany all that language learning, they have these other two books called Daily Six Trait Writing. This is really easy to work through. You just do one lesson a day throughout each week and each lesson only tends to be about one page. And so sometimes our kids double up and they'll do like a whole week's worth in one sitting because each of these pages doesn't take very long to do. And so this is like another reinforcement of them for them in terms of sentence structure and writing and grammar and critical thinking and problem solving and all those types of skills. But it has to, it, it tends to be a little bit more on the creative side than like language lessons need to be. That's kind of more on the technical side. This is a little bit more on the fun, like how do you actually use this in real life type of side. And if that wasn't enough, they also have this literature right here, which is something new for us. This is from Mostas Press Literature, and we're starting right at the very beginning. Now, literature is not something that I really did much when I was homeschooled. I was homeschooled my whole life, kindergarten through 12th grade myself. And so I've been through a lot of different kinds of curriculums, and we love what Timberdoodle has put together here. So, because it is so interactive, it is so hands on, it's something that's fun for all of us to do together. But we didn't really do much literature growing up. And so this is actually probably a lot of this is going to be new for me, which is part of the reason like I like homeschooling my kids because I get to learn along with them. And it does really cool things for your relationship with your kids too. When they can tell and they know that like dad doesn't know this either. Like we're learning stuff dad doesn't know. It's just like when you learn th something together with your kids, it really solidifies that relationship. And, and it's, it's, really, it's really fun for them and, and for the parent. So what I like about this, I was kind of on the fence of like, is this really necessary? I didn't have this as a kid growing up. And I think it is. This is about teaching people all about the story. And by story, I don't just mean about the actual content of the story itself. It's like, what is story? What is plot? What are characters? What is setting? What is theme? Like this is the stuff that actually makes up a good story about conflict and sequence and drama and the main ideas and character traits and points of view and relationships and cause and effect and all these things. This is going to be fun for me because I love learning about story. And this book teaches story within the context of telling stories. So they'll, they'll get the story and poems and literature in this bright, colorful book. And then they have a student workbook that then they'll come to 
and they have about six pages each week to work through that then kind of pulls out some of the things about the plot and the characters and the setting and everything that's kind of like analyzes now the story that they that they just learned about. This set does come with some teacher's manuals and things. I looked through that and I felt like the teacher manual just kind of went really in depth, which is great, but I was a little bit more, I think that's gonna end up being more time consuming than, than what we're gonna do. And so between reading the stories and working through the workbooks together, I think it's gonna be like perfect. I'm hoping that some of the conversations that come out of working through this with Hannah and Zeke even translate to how we tell better stories for you guys here on this channel and, and vlogs and, and how we start crafting what we're doing here to follow some of the format things we're gonna be learning in here together. That's gonna be a lot of fun to have those discussions with them. So I am actually excited about literature. Something that I learned growing up that I feel like was really helpful for me was learning word roots. And it really helped me understand what words mean, even if I have never heard the word before. And it also helped me know how to better spell them. And so this is a book about prefixes, roots, suffixes, and it's a workbook that Hannah and Zeke will each work through only doing about one lesson per week. So it'll be something easy for them to kind of get through. And once you kind of start picking up on some of this kind of stuff, it goes pretty quick. It goes pretty easy. So, um, this should hopefully help them with that. Now, if you guys have ever seen any of my previous Timber Doodle reviews, you know that one of the reasons that we really like using them is because it's not just about learning information, but they include things that really help our kids learn how to solve problems. And they really focus on critical thinking skills, which I think is kind of like the whole point, not just about collecting information, it's about how do we apply this and how do we use this information to solve problems. And so they include critical and creative thinking activities. So both Hannah and Zeke will have one of these books right here. And it's problem solving things. It's it's trying to find patterns and solutions and creative ways to come up with, with answers for things. And it just kind of makes you work through situations. And I like these because I think this is kind of where the kids start figuring out like how to actually apply everything that they've been learning through all this other stuff. It's things like infer and solve and reason and imagine and create and classify and compare and lots of practice stuff that they can all do right here. And so it's, you know, some of it's math, some of it is pattern recognition. The Hannah and Zeke are gonna have a lot of fun with. They've had fun with these types of things uh, in the past and other grades that Timber Doodle have provided. So I don't think this will be any different. For the past few years, we have been slacking in our history. This is first grade story of the world, which we haven't finished yet. And part of that is because it requires a lot of time, a lot of reading for us. It just wasn't working very well for us. So one of the things that is great about Timber Doodle is that it's very flexible. And in the past, it hasn't been unusual for us to finish like a whole grade's worth of material in like a month, a few months or so. And so we're actually going to double up and do first and second grade this year and start on third grade, which might sound like a lot, but here's our solution, thanks to Timber Doodle. They actually have this option where you can get the audio book. While the kids are listening to the curriculum on audio CD, I will be giving them other art things to do. Just things for them to do with their hands while they're listening to the history being taught on audio. And I think that's gonna be work much better. We can do this while we're in the car. We can do that while we're in this room. And I just give them some art projects to work on for you know a half hour, an hour or so, and they can just power through this. And then I'll come in with the teacher's guide, which is what this book is, and catch up on the review questions at the end of each lesson, just to make sure that they're grasping the concepts, that they're listening to the story, and they're understanding what's being taught, and then kind of show them what's happening on the maps that this book provides, so that they make sure that you know they, they have an idea of what's going on and where it's happening. In fact, we even bought a CD player just for that purpose so it's here in the room for them to be able to listen to that history. The co-op that our family will be involved with this year is actually working through third grade of this same curriculum of story of the world. And so between doing first and second grade here at home and doing third grade there, 
by the end of the year, they should be all caught up on all three years of history. <laughs> In terms of science, there's two things that they'll be working on. One is kind of focuses on anatomy. And this book comes with some cool glasses. And you use, use those glasses to look through the pages and find different things. This is how, kind of how you like see beneath the surface of your hand, so to speak, and see what's kind of happening there. This just looks like a lot of fun. It just makes the learning part fun. A lot of drawing, a lot of artwork, and, and things like that. So this is what they'll be using for anatomy both of them and then they have another book called science in the scientific revolution we will be doing about two lessons per week in this book and this book will be mostly just us sitting down and reading a lot of stuff it's full of tons of science experiments that you can do and these are the types of science experiments that you can do with kind of the type of stuff you just have laying around the house Right now, I'm just kind of looking at them and thinking, you know, that looks awesome, but I just don't think we're gonna have the time to pull it off. Because Timber Doodle does focus so much on critical thinking, they include some other things like circuit maze. This is gonna be a lot of fun. The kids are really looking forward to learning about circuitry and just playing and doing some of the challenges and, the, and learning about logic as well by, by working with that. They include a lot of paint by numbers. There's eight of them here. So I think four for Hannah, four for Zeke that they'll be working through. It helps them really find motor skills, pay attention to detail, and do something fun that, you know, they create something cool at the end. And then they include a STEM challenge, which this one is Zub Builder. As you can see, this is gonna be a lot of fun as well for those kids. And they're gonna love this. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm probably gonna have fun building with it myself. I know all of this just looks overwhelming at first and you're like, oh my gosh, how do you like track all this? Well, schedule totally helps. This makes it super easy. All I gotta do is make sure I check off these boxes as I showed you. But this thing right here is gold <laughs> from Timberdoodle. So they assemble this kit for, for you and then they include a third grade handbook that just walks you through the curriculum, kind of like a breakdown of what you need to do each week, which I love because it makes it so flexible because not every day you get, you get to accomplish what you were hoping to accomplish. Some days go great, some days you power through stuff, some days the kids are in just bad moods and they're tired and you don't get through anything. So this is like, just by the end of the week, you gotta have this finished at some point. It makes it very flexible. But they also go through each of the pieces of curriculum and the books that are included in the kit and they share with you a little bit about what you should expect to get from this, why you're using it, some tips on scheduling, some tips on how to use this with your child. They even give you things on like, you can totally skip this section of this book because you're actually gonna be covering it in that other book, so don't waste your time with this, use it for that. And, and it just makes the whole thing like, I, after I work through this and I read this, I'm like, I got it, I get it. Now I understand exactly what I'm gonna be doing here and how this is going to work and I know exactly what my plan is. There's some other things on here on the bonus like exercise, reading, we do speech with Zeke, typing, piano, geo puzzles, and some of this other stuff we've already showed you guys. And we have a lot of that like right up here. These are all books that the kids can pick to read from as well as some of these over here, a lot of nature books that are mine from when I was a kid. So they can come and choose from any of these. Um, or any of those and we go to the library a lot too. So that gives them even more selections Hannah Zeke and I start our school Next week. So we are excited to dive into all this if you are looking for a great homeschool curriculum We would highly recommend you check out timber doodle. It works well for our family Our kids love it and I like it and it's fun. It's very hands-on. It's experiential. It's conversational it, We just we just like the way timber doodle has assembled all of these pieces together So we really appreciate that there's a link to them down in the description of this video If you want to go check them out at timberdoodle.com and see whether or not some of these kits are right for you they do have basic kits this is the complete kit they have an elite kit if you are definitely an overachieving type of parent but um, you have a few like us we found that the complete kit gives us everything that the that the basic kit has but also provides a little bit more flexibility for us um, in terms of filling in a little bit more of the gaps and having a little bit more variety for each of the kids who are going through this so check out timber doodle linked up down below we will be sharing with you guys a lot of our own homeschool vlogs coming up this year about our experience 
experience as we work through all this together. And so follow along if you're not already. We got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where we're just exploring how do we grow together as a big family team. And we'd love to have you guys become a part of that with us. So follow along and we'll see you guys again soon for our next family video. See you then. Bye.